Today I'm making a healthy version of some strawberry and banana ice cream. We're gonna be using cottage cheese in this. Stay with me in here now. And that's gonna give it the nice creaminess and add some protein to our ice cream. It turns out really well. I'm gonna use a little bit of sweetener. Now that depends on how sweet your strawberries are and your banana. But you can play with it and you know, sometimes during the season, the strawberries are so sweet, you don't need any sugar. So anyway, we're gonna make this. I'm gonna show you how to do it and you can play with it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Who was the best rock and roll strawberry? Chuck Berry. So for this recipe, you're gonna to wanna to get some frozen organic strawberries and do use organic because, well, there's a lot of pesticides on strawberries. I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy uh, scale here and I'm gonna measure out about a pound of frozen strawberries. And then we'll place those into a food processor. And then we're gonna process this until we have this strawberries broken down into small pieces. I think you can see here that you wanna break those strawberries down pretty good, but they're still frozen. We're gonna add a banana to this, which is gonna give it some sweetness too. And even though I didn't freeze the banana, I think it would be better if you did, you just have a colder product in the end. So I'll just break up the banana into pieces just to make it easier on the processor. To add some protein to our ice cream, I'm adding some cottage cheese, and this is also gonna make it nice and creamy. Also, I would recommend using full fat cottage cheese because that's gonna make it creamier and richer. Okay, we're gonna sneak in chef joke number two. Why did the newspaper talk to the ice cream? Because he was looking for the scoop. <laughs> now, if you want to give this a little more sweetness, in case your strawberries and bananas aren't that sweet, we're gonna add some date paste. So now I'm gonna talk to you about how to make that date paste real quick here. So we're gonna use some fresh Majol dates, and these are pitted. I'm gonna place a cup here of dates in my blender, and then I'm gonna add a cup of water, maybe a little more, just depending on how thick we want it, and just blend it until it's absolutely smooth. Now there's no problem with making extra here because you can use it in a variety of different foods. Like I like to toss it in my smoothies, or if I'm having tea, I need to sweeten it up just a tad. It adds a nice flavor. You could also add date paste to salad dressings, soups, or stews, or anything that needs just a hint of sweetness. So you wanna mix this up until it's absolutely smooth and creamy. So back to our ice cream. So I'll go ahead and put the lid on and then we're gonna pulse this until it starts to become creamy. As it starts to combine, you're gonna to wanna to remove the lid periodically and scrape down the sides and the lid just to get everything mixed in. Now you can see how nice and creamy and smooth this is. Now, if the banana had been frozen, it would be just a little bit thicker, which is not a bad thing. This is a good time to take a little taste and see if you need to add more date paste or whatever sweetener you wanna use. I voted yes on a little more date paste, so here we go. And then we'll just blend it one more time. So why do you wanna bother using date paste rather than just plain white sugar? Well, you're gonna get a lot more fiber, protein, iron, and calcium. So you're not gonna find that in sugar. So here's what it looks like right out of the food processor. It's soft serve, definitely. And like I said, if that banana was frozen, it would be a bit thicker. Now you'd wanna go ahead and freeze this if you want it more firm. And then when you're ready to eat it, then you're gonna wanna take it out of the freezer for maybe 15 minutes or so, so that it can soften up and make it easier to scoop. If you love ice cream, you're gonna wanna try my creamy lemon ice cream here. This is a traditional type of ice cream. So click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe. Take care.